Good morning, everybody. Glad to see you. Uh, trying to do something about my videos not wanting to load up properly. And, yeah, it's the wickedness, you guys. It's just getting darker. I don't think we'll be doing this much longer. Yeah, it's going to come to the point, you guys, where, yeah, you need to just stay strong in your faith, okay? Believing in Jesus Christ. Know this. God's in control. You know, don't have a fear of the wickedness, what they're doing. Last night I had a dream showing uh, fighting against the devil, you know. Basically, as long as you're standing on the rock, believing in Jesus Christ, don't ever forget he's in control, okay? Devil, you know, don't worry about what they might be able to do to your body or nothing, you know. We're stronger than that. We trust in our Lord, okay? Remember that. Let me read you guys something. A couple of things here, okay? Just be strong. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Two, let's go to Ephesians 2. 2. Wherein in time past you walked according to the course of this world. According to the prince of the power of the air. Man, when we were jamming down, listening to our rock and roll and loving everything going on in this world, man. You know, just loving it, man. Whistling to the tunes and we were all really into it, man. I mean, we were all deceived by the devil, man. According to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now uh, worketh in the children of disobedience. See all the wickedness we see around here now? That's We know what it is now. We see it. The Lord has opened our eyes to see what the truth is now. Among whom also we all had our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and whereby nature the children of wrath, even as others, but God who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, has quickened us together with Christ. By grace we are saved, you guys. By grace we were saved. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And has raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of ourselves. It is the gift of God. Thank you, God, for this, you know. This is where we got to really count our blessings, you guys. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Okay? Now, um, let me see, let me see. James 4.4 4, You adulterers and adulteresses, know you not that the friendship of the world is a minity with God. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Now, when I went to the church yesterday, I had a dream last night, too, about a watch. A watch on the wrist. It would go forward, then it would go backwards. Forward, then it would go backwards. And I said, you know, I was looking, and they said, it's Woodrow. Woodrow, that was the name of the watch. Well, I was thinking this morning when I got up, Woodrow is the church where I go. It's called Woodrow Drive. On 2100 Woodrow Drive. And he does have a powerful sermon, you guys. Don't get me wrong. But he keeps turning back to the world all the time. Who heroes are of the flesh. You know, that's carnal, you guys. It's carnal. we got to let go of this. And he's always going back to the flesh, saluting the flag. You guys, we're in the last times, man. If we're going to be saluting, we should be saluting all saints. Those that are following Christ. Those that are of the Lord. Who does the Bible tell you to salute? Okay, the dead will take care of the dead. The past is in the past. We're in the future right now. We know 
We're seeing wickedness abounding. This is the time we need to be strong in Christ and not be uh, looking into these other things. I think that's why it would go forward, then it would drop back. Go forward, then it would drop back. In other words, he's not moving forward. He's not realizing we wrestle not with flesh and blood. You know, that the devil's the prince of this world. And we need to know who's who and where we're at. You know, but nonetheless, you know, like I said, let's be strong in the Lord, you guys. Okay? He, I ain't saying, you know, I, I listen to him too. But there's times where I just feel, you know, he's looking too much back into the world. And we need to be letting go of this as the devil's a prince of this place. You know, when Christ is here, it's another story. But Christ is coming back to, for, to destroy this because of the evil that's in it right now. It's wicked. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain, the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth the envy? But he giveth more grace, wherefore he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. I think that's why I kept seeing him going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Be afflicted, mourn, weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift us up. Okay, does that give you a real good idea where we need to be? It really should. I know, it really, truly should. And I know you guys know it too because you have an unction. It comes from the Holy One. It ain't because I said it. It's because you know it. You can feel it in your spirit. You know what the truth is when you hear it. All right. Here's uh, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. I know I read it in my last video. I'm going to read it again. 4.3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Okay? That's what I'm saying. You got to let go of this carnal. You got to let go of this flesh. Every time he goes back into it, he's lost. You know, and you don't want to be lost. Keep your eyes on Christ. Let go of these things that are in this world. Let them go now. We're coming into a new phase. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord. Our, and ourselves your servants for Jesus' sake. For God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, has shined into our hearts to give light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Okay? But we have this treasure in earthly vessels that the power of God and not of us. The power of God, but not of us. We are troubled on every side. And not distressed. We are perplexed, but not despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus and the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our bodies. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake and the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh so then death worketh in us but life in you we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believed and therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak knowing that he which raised up the Lord Jesus shall raise up us also by Jesus and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sake, that the abundant grace might through the thanksgiving of many redound to the glory of God, for which cause we faint not, but through the outward man perish, 
Yet the inward man is renewed day by day, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. You guys, we need to be very strong, man. This is very real. Okay? A lot of you guys can see that. Man, I've showed that to people who go, oh, I can see something, but they can't really make it out. I'm talking about that angel blowing that trumpet above my head there in the mirror. And you look at that, there's a white horse at the end of that trumpet and a bathtub. That's where we need to be washed, covered in the blood of Christ. Okay? Washed, covered in the blood of Christ. Okay? Be ready, you guys. The time's coming. Time's already here. It's not just coming. It's already here. You need to be strong and ready to move, my friends. All right, let me try to get this thing loaded up. Yesterday was a long time trying to get a, a eight-minute video loaded up, man. It took like 26, 27 hours. It's horrible. I'm trying something new here. God bless you guys. I love each and every one of you. I don't know how much more time we're going to have doing this. Okay, but be strong in our Lord Jesus Christ always, okay? God bless you guys.